Hi everybody. It's Friday and I've got a couple of journals to share this Friday. I know I hadn't been here in a couple of weeks. Hadn't had, um, we had that uh, remnants of a hurricane come through here. And there were 22 trees down in my, in my neighborhood. Which of course took power lines with it and everything else. And, um, but they've got it back up and running. And then they had to get, the, of course, the internet people out here, which took a while. So I'm back. And I have uh, this little one. I'll do this one first. I have three, I think. This measures six by four. And it's, um, it's one of these um, ones that I bind with the twine. It's tied in a square knot so it won't go anywhere. And it's wrapped with twisted seam binding. It's twisted seam binding. Twisted sorry silk. Nothing has changed in three weeks because I still get them confused. And I did the cover... Um, with coffee dyed paper in the crinkle technique and going inside now I didn't I didn't secure this down so um, it's loose but oh wait a minute let's do the cover here I've got a, a seam binding flower with a little brad in it and some cheesecloth and a nice picture of a lady with her kitty cat out in the backyard and a little image here. And now we can go on the inside. I did the same with the crinkle paper on the crinkle coffee dyed paper on the outside as I did on the in, uh, inside as I did on the outside. Boy, I'm having trouble today. And um, made this little card with book pages when there was no power. Uh, I sat here and did a whole bunch of book pages and uh, made bases for things that I knew that I would use. Um, my studio is awfully dark, so I did all this by flashlight, which was actually kind of different. And I put it's got that nice look at how it came out. It's real pretty, real, real pretty. And I put two cards in here. This is a prescription. You can get these at the Graphics Fairy. And then. Um, Another little image here. And I stitched stitched it in different shades of brown. This is a dark brown. This is a lighter brown here. Um, and I put, to reinforce the holes so that uh, they won't tear, I added fabric to the spine. So it kind of pokes out, kind of pokes out the side there. And this has got an image of a receipt, and I did a lot of these too when there, you know, when there's no power and there's nothing to do and you really can't see. Um, crafting is one of the best things because you can. Well, I put on a little flashlight. I have one of these little overhead um, LED flashlights, and actually one of them they're disposable. Got them at Lowe's, and um, one of them lasted me a whole week, so it was kind of nice. And I used it all day and all night, so that was kind of cool. But um, I made a lot of these little waterfall paper, um, and it's not a pocket here. It's just uh, glued down, and some cheesecloth and fabric on the top, and then it lifts up. It was really fun to make these things. I did it going several different ways. <laughs> and Sammy Jo says hello. She's missed everybody. A little fabric here, a little muslin. On this side is a little um, pocket, a uh, double pocket actually, and some cheesecloth and an image and a seam binding flower and a little seam binding bow there. And I didn't glue this side down so that cards would slip in and out easily. And I put two little cards in the front. And a Rolodex card there. And another little card there. Over here is another one of these fold-outs that I did. It's got the muslin here. Fold-outs. I don't know if you call it a fold-out. But um, several different pages for extra journaling. I love adding these onto a page because it really um, it keeps the book flatter than adding a lot of pages. So it kind of opens up nicely and just a pretty image there with a nice big water stain. Hey, Sam. 
another card here, a little place to journal. And it's also a tuck spot, a little piece of paper there. And then over here, oh, I'm slipping in a slide. Another fold out that's been stitched with a little invoice. Then over here, I'm going to move this over here a little bit. Um, and they're on cardstock bases. When I, when I do this heavier stuff, because when you start adding a whole bunch of stuff, you need some strength behind it. So I added um, two cards to the front with a little ticket here and an image. And then it opens up. Another tuck spot here with uh, some different places to write. little ticket there. And some papers. I got these both of these papers from Bohemian Crafting on Etsy. Love these papers. And pretty image here. And this opens up this way. It's also got a... Wait a minute, let me go back here. I put a old worn tag behind this image. Okay, lift up. Thank you. And then it folds out this way with a tuck spot that's an envelope and you can use this for storage. And uh, some more papers for writing here. Lots of them actually. And you could put an image there if you wanted, but I put two images up there. So this has got a lot going on here. And you can see that it's nice and compact, so that's what I'm liking. And then on the back side, some more fabric, a little bit of cheesecloth, another one of those cards, and then I put a little booklet with a paper collage there. That was actually on the book page, and I liked it, so I cut it out. So I got a little card, a little booklet there. Over here is a little mini pocket um, with cheesecloth and a little bow. A little mini card. I think those are so cute. Nice pretty image. And some laces here. A bunch of different fabrics and a little rosette. And I put a card and a little notepad for note taking. Or you can turn it this way to use. And then on this side, there's a tuck spot behind, and I put that in there. And then this is this lifts up, pretty lady, little ribbon there, and then this lifts up, and that one's attached down for extra writing. A little pocket here with the seam binding flower and some. Uh, fabrics pretty image and I put three little cards in the pocket two minis and a little bit bigger one some fabric there that's all frayed I love it when it frays it looks so good and then over here we have another fold out I think I'm a little crazy on the fold outs but I really really like them they're nice they're flat I really like them Pretty image there, a little, little doodad there, but I, I really do like them. Another little waterfall booklet with uh, some paper collage up there. It's not a pocket, it's adhered down. And then over here... A little mini pocket, a little flower, a little image there. Put in a couple of cards. Got some different fabrics and some uh, gold going on here. Cute. And then a couple of tags. You can put that on the outside. But I'll tuck it in there. And then this is another notebook. I want to make sure that... Yeah, 
Okay. Another little decorated notebook for writing. I scattered some of these because I thought that might be kind of neat to write around it to give a different shape to your writing page. So I scattered them. And then a pretty image behind it. Over here is another tuck spot. And I put in a couple of cards here. This is the back cover. Another image that's been stitched around. And we're to the back of the book. And see how it all sticks out. All the papers stick out. I cut them different sizes. And then the fabrics on the spine. And that's it for this journal. And I've got a couple more I want to share with you. And I'll be right back. Bye-bye.